What? You think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Please, Greenleaf, just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? Besides you the point. nicer than I thought you would be when I was her. But if I help you, I can promise that help will not go unpunished. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... I don't give a shit about your problem. I... Oh, that... I... Just talk. Now. Well, you have no idea what's going on, do you? No, we don't! Okay, you Explain! Know what I, think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different means to handle it, too. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? The we can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Jesus Christ, man. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. I... Be. I... Please, sure. I... <laughs> I don't. I'm you know, sorry. You weren't technically my boss yet, Snow. Do you think this is a joke? No, I don't. The fact is, Cole hasn't confirmed you, and until he does, you have absolutely no authority over me. She's going to kill me. I'm not going to burn down this tree. All right, let's go. She's going to murder me in my sleep. Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. I can understand Greenleaf's point of view, though. But she could be freaking fibbing, but I don't know. Snow is gonna fucking kill me in my sleep, and I'm gonna have stones in my stomach and be thrown in the river again. That's how life is. It's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, okay. Oh, fucking fuck, man! Yep! There we go. Cut 
can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Oh, my God. Big me. Wait, Hi. don't. I just grabbed him. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just, just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. No one's ever talked their way out of an execution, Crane. No, 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 really, this will work, I tell you. I went to you. Damn you, come on, please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. You screwed up? You screwed up, Crane. Bigby, share it. Listen. The amount of evidence I have, the town wouldn't bat an eye if I were to throw you down the witching well tonight. Please, Sheriff. I'm telling you the truth when I say that I did not kill that woman. Bigby? He's telling the truth. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Technically, no. He's not. He wouldn't be brave enough. Oh. Not to put his stamp on the world like that. We've been chasing this guy. Just, why now? Because look at him. He's a coward, yes, yes. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't, I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? <laughs> you know, when I saw you come back here, I thought this was over. We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. Oh, you're Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. Sometimes it's fuzzy. <laughs> you have what it takes to run that office. You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. Nah, I'm not Finally really. took a little something back in return. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time.
ready. Stupid girls and their preposterous schemes. What are you saying? <laughs> See and dumb, what the fuck are you doing here? Who are you? Hi. What you got there? Look, Who are you? It's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the crooked man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? It does, actually. I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. What do you want? That sack of flour. Crane, dear. It's Crane. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fable Town business. Does it look like she cares? Tweedledee. What's the, uh... You know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This was really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. Ow! Why did I get shot? I don't have a choice here! Pick oh me. no. I'm going in my last defensive mode, aren't I? As much as I can. For fuck's sake, man! Do you know how hard it is to do this? Shit! Come on! Oh. Oh, no. 
I'm sorry, but... Silver bullets. That was a good show, but you know, it just didn't know when to end. Someone gonna save me. Someone save me. I mean, Someone save me. I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. Someone I was nice to <laughs> save me. Can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. Someone save me? What, what? color? Stop. Don't give him Crane. Don't give him Crane. Just you don't. Take him, okay? Take <sighs> Crane. Please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, uh, stay out of this. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. See you around. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, uh, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? I feel like I fucked up somehow. I didn't interrupt snow. Oh. Okay, yeah. That's okay. 
So a lot of people don't really know what's going on here. Okay. Oh, really? A lot of people actually decided to make this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that was a hard decision. Though. Just saying. Like, it's almost even split. Okay? Not my concern. But I'm actually surprised about this one, to be honest. That was the Crooked Mile. Next time we will be continuing on with episode 4.